Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading for January 15th, 2021. Please show me what Taurus needs to know here or see. Thank you. I hope you guys are doing awesome today. Here's your first card. Judgment in the upright, making a decision. Someone's receiving karma. Could be good karma. This is making um, progress. This is getting something. This is seeing the light. This is finding your calling. This is finding your calling and not being able to turn back. Blowing your horn as well. Waking people up. People are coming out at, oh, <laughs> People are coming back from the dead. People are climbing out of their graves and there's an angel blowing a horn. She's carrying some kind of sword that looks wavy. It's like a two-pronged sword and it's gold and it's wavy. And it looks like a man in a dress, in a pink dress. You see that weird sword? I don't know what that means. All right, so truth coming out, people waking up, finding your calling. I'm hearing hallelujah. In the how, you have the high priest in the reverse. I have to look concord. Concord. I think that's agreement. I think. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. I don't know if I wrote this one down either. Harmony agreement. Okay, so this is reaching some kind of agreement, but this is also breaking a contract. So I feel like you're being freed from something, some kind of binding contract. I feel like this could be the end of um, a legal dispute Coming to an agreement, being freed from something. Freed from a contract for sure. You could be leaving a relationship. You could be feeling um, like you finally made it. Like you finally made it out of something. Something that was binding. And maybe you couldn't come in, come to an agreement about how to end something. But now, now you are. Let's see what the why is. Everyone's feeling alive here. The Y is the Knight of Cups in the upright. <clears throat> Excuse me. This could be new love. I feel like you could have been tied down by something or you couldn't let something go as well. But you finally let something go because there's somebody else that wants to have, a, have some kind of agreement with you. Because this person is looking right. Um, it also could be somebody letting you go with love. This is forgiveness. This is love. This is um, very open. Someone giving you their cup. Someone making peace. Someone ending something that needed to end. So that everyone could be free. Because it feels like something was holding everyone down and keeping them feeling like they're kind of dead. Like dead inside. But this is called a arrival. So this is somebody with love in their heart arriving. Could be someone arriving to fix something broken as well. Someone seeing the light in some way. How you're going to feel the six of coins in the reverse. Oh, sorry. No, it's in the upright. So that's equal. That's generosity. That's um, sharing the harvest. And that's behind this person. So somebody is being very generous at the end of a contract. Um, I feel like someone is setting someone free. 
this feels like you feel very um, stable, very generous, very, um, it also feels like you're, like maybe you're being treated generously. This also feels like this is you giving something. You having something to give and giving with your heart, with your love to something. It's ending something. It's ending a contract. It's freeing somebody, but it's being done with love and generosity. This is having a lot to give. This could also be giving something up because of love. Setting somebody free. This could also be um, somebody wanting out of a marriage and someone else saying, okay, I'm setting you free. Here you go. Um, somebody was feeling trapped. Somebody was feeling deadened in a relationship. So someone else is saying, because I love you and because I have a generous heart, I'm letting you go. But it feels very positive. It feels like it's all done with love. The queen of coins in the reverse. This is someone being suspicious. This is also, this can be someone feeling mad. But it's called femme suspect. So it's a suspicious woman. Um, it could be interrogation. I'm trying to figure out what it is as your advice card. It could be to ask questions. To question something. To question um, the, the um, dissolution of a contract. So question something. Um, you could be giving up money as well. On the other end of this, this is a generous woman. So you could have given your all to something as well. I'm feeling a very, very generous person here that gave their all to um, a relationship, but I and loved loved a relationship. But it was suppressing someone, either you or someone else, and someone is setting the other person free. I feel like it might have been draining your energy. And I feel like somebody is giving more than they have or is giving like all of they have or something like that. Someone's being incredibly generous here. But someone's also suspicious of something. All right, let's get some more cards. Bottom of the deck. Chaos in the upright. So that, that is about higher um, learning. It's about marriage. It's about civil expectations, higher education, court system, laws. It's, it's like society's rules, how society... Um, Society's expectations, like you're supposed to go to school, um, then you're supposed to keep going to school, then you're supposed to get married, then you're supposed to, you know, buy your house in the suburbs, and you're supposed to have 2.5 kids. That's what this is. This is like society's expectations. And this looks like somebody is saying, no, thank you. Maybe no thank you to all contracts. Somebody could be breaking all contracts, all civil contracts. This feels like you're feeling very generous. So it kind of feels like you're saying, I don't need this societal expectation in my life. Um, this is setting yourself free. Also, um, what just came to mind is that this societal expectation system, it deadens us. So this looks like somebody that is questioning the whole paradigm would rather deal with, and this is harvest, this is growing things, this is gardening, this is doing something with your heart. I really feel like someone is saying no to the normal civil civilization trappings and freeing yourself to be truly alive, saying no thank you to the court system and to the marriage system and to, you know, all those systems. Saying no to systems. <laughs> Five of Swords in the upright. Yeah, losing all hope, losing all care. Um, it's like it's not relevant to you anymore. You're free. You've freed yourself. 
you're at a higher level. You're at a higher point. You can't turn back now. You can't be constrained by um, mortal contracts, mortal laws. Sweet. In the how? Queen of Cups in the reverse. So that's success both ways. One side it's in French and the other side it's more in English. Spelled a little different, but success and success. Either way, whether your heart is broken or your heart is full, you are going to find success. I feel like you could have been in a marriage or a relationship or some kind of binding contract that broke your heart. You could have lost a lot of money. Um, I really feel you lost faith in the entire system. I feel like your heart was put through the ringer, but you survived and you came out absolutely um, like at another level, at a higher level. You kept your heart intact. In the why? Prudence in the upright. Um, I feel like some kind of heartbreak or this feels like a dark night of the soul to me. Um, it, it enabled you to see things from many, many, many angles. And she's right above this civil expectation card. And this is seeing things with awareness. This is seen from a bird's eye view. This is really seeing this for what it is. And you're seeing it with love. So it's not twisted and it's not um, bitter. It's, it's just seeing things for what it is. That this guy is all about rules. And I feel like you came out of some kind of heartbreak situation. Stable and generous and loving and giving and aware. And you went, screw that. Screw society. Not the people, but the institutions that try to govern the people. Knight of Wands in the upright. So that's the caveman. This is going back to basics for me. This is like working the land. This really is. I was already picking up gardening. Now I'm picking up gardening and hoes and, and you know, hard work. This guy carries a club with... Um, What's the word? Um, spikes. So sometimes I see him as aggressive, but beside prudence, I'm seeing him as just blood, sweat, and tears, working really hard, working the land with your heart, with a plan, seeing what your hard work will bring, seeing the big picture. And this is above the rules. Again, saying, screw that, screw society rules. This is everybody working together and sharing, um, sharing um, the work, sharing the wealth, giving, giving to people that are broken, giving to people that are um, broken by the system. Sweet. I can't count. I think that's seven. Seven of swords in the reverse. So that's deception, that's being deceived, but it's turning the tables because it's in the reverse. Suspicion and turning the tables. So I feel like you're using your knowledge about what's real. I really feel like you've been through the ringer here, but it's made you very, very wise. And now you're thinking 10 steps ahead and 10 steps above. Last card. Wow, so many people in this reading. Queen of Swords in the upright. This is being rich in knowledge and experience. You could be a widow or a divorcee. Um, it feels like somebody who has learned through deception. I see that mirror as Medusa. I see that as the past. Um, I see that as many broken dreams. And I also see that she's below this society card, this society expectation. I feel like somebody was held down in some kind of marriage as well or some kind of contract. Somebody worked for the government, this government here. Um, I feel like that was to give you more awareness and knowledge. 
it almost feels like for somebody, you had to live through all of these different personalities in order to gain this wisdom. This is, this is very um, diabolical and it's almost like you had to see the dark side, that mirror, Medusa, beside this deception. You had to learn something from being on the dark side or somebody being at the, like a victim of the dark side, but you had to learn. This is a lot of experience and learning something the hard way, um, but that was the only way you could learn this particular experience. Now you're suspicious of anything official you see through them, but you definitely have your heart intact and your generosity intact. But yeah, you're at a much higher level now. You're, you're seeing things for what they are. You see, this is a bullshit detector. Um, this is gaslighting. You've been gaslighted. You've, it feels like you've been through a narcissist relationship or something like that. And it's, or a government, um, working for the government and working, um, witnessing corruption. But you learned something the hard way and now you're doing something the rough way, but the honest way and the generous way with your heart. This is also very benevolent. This is wanting to give and it's right above that. Um, he kind of looks like a soldier to me. But he's surrounded by these really smart women. I feel like, and, and that don't believe him, don't trust him, don't respect him. And it feels like you could take him down with one word. Like this is, this is 10 steps ahead and so is this. All right, well, I don't know who that was for. That felt more like a general reading. Um, I try to keep it a little more toned down for the signs. All right, there you go, you guys. Actually, I feel like I need to recap it because I'm not even sure what I just said. So revelation here through some kind of um, pain, through living without, through um, dark night of the soul, something breaking up, but coming to an agreement about something, something setting you free, something that broke your heart, something that made you very sad and made you um, suspicious of structured government um, corporations organized like but big like big um, society-wide organizations the why somebody loves you somebody is setting you free because they love you or this is you setting someone free because you love them again this is peace this is benevolence this is giving this is giving this is generosity this is feeling very stable. This is um, doing something very rough, but also doing something with a lot of passion, racing towards something. I'm seeing somebody like even like hacking down um, bushes and stuff, like clearing land. This is a lot of physical labor, but for a very benevolent reason. So your advice, be suspicious of anything huge and organized or, you know, like I'm, I'm, having, a, I'm having trouble finding the right word. Um, I don't want to just say government. It's more than that. Like I actually feel like the government or the corporations are the government or own the government or whatever. It's just a big deception, but you're on to it. And this is very, very wise. This is looking in the mirror. This is, this is seeing yourself in this, seeing some kind of deception in yourself as well. But this is digging deep. I feel like this is like just part of working through your own self-deception, where you deceive yourself. What, like, the term that just came to mind is where... You guys are going to get so sick of my brainwashing obsession... Um, but it's like looking at yourself, looking at this deception or brainwashing um, and, and really questioning where do I begin 
where do I end? Where, what thoughts are mine and what thoughts are implanted in me by some kind of um, systematic brainwashing thing? So this is, yeah, really looking deep within and questioning yourself and breaking contracts. For sure, breaking contracts. Deceptive contracts. Someone's setting you free this week. All right. That's your reading. Love you guys. Have a great week. Bye.